Hello. Right. What am I doing? Right, I'm making a video. That's right. Ah, yeah, I remember now. Okay, yes. So, uh, I thought I'd make a little video just because I had uh, reached 50% of the way through the Weekly Beats Challenge for 2016. How exciting. That's like a lot of music and a lot of stuff. And I thought, I know, I'll just interview myself about it. And then I polled for some questions as well. And uh, luckily some people sent some, which is nice, because then I'm not talking to myself entirely. But I am, but I'm not. Hmm. Anyway, right, I'm 50% of the way through this ridiculous challenge, which means I've recorded 26 tracks, uh, released one a week, every week. Haven't missed one yet. Might miss one soon. You never know. I don't want to say I'm going to be successful, but... Uh, just navigate my way through my computer slightly for a second so I can remember what I've actually done. There we go. Yeah, two hours and nine minutes of noises. Sorry, didn't mean to. Anyway, yeah, so just wanted to uh, do a little nice thank you, first of all. Thank you for listening. Thank you for looking at the artwork. Uh, sometimes it's better than other things, so some weeks are better than others. Other weeks, uh, yeah, but you know that's the that's the whole point, really, isn't it? Anyway, um, yeah. So thank you. Uh, second on my list of things to talk about is I have some gigs coming up this week. So if you are in Ireland on the eighth, which is also my birthday. You can uh, come to Belfast in Voodoo and see myself in Photoxin, Jewel, two times AA, and I think that's it for Belfast. But that's going to be exciting and fun, isn't it? Yes, loud chip music and lots of dancing, etc. I was thinking about trying to find uh, something which I could use as a trophy for the best dancer, but I don't know why I was thinking that. This is what I think about when I go out on a run, so I've just come back from a run. So one, I'm sweaty. Two, I think of weird things when I'm out on a run. And this is usually where I get ideas for artwork, so like this week, this week's artwork I actually had to redo because my first idea, which I did have when I was running, was to do a picture of Boris Johnson blowing his brains out whilst doing this. Not such a good thing to do um maybe in this political climate that we find ourselves in uh instead i just drew some foxtails because foxes are cool where was i ah yeah on uh saturday the 9th of july uh you can come to a4 sounds in dublin and you can come there from four o'clock to find uh some of ourselves uh some musicy people including infotoxin jewel two times aa Hardly likes music myself, and I hope I'm not forgetting anyone. But yes, uh, we're playing basically from four o'clock. We're going to be doing some talking, and and stuff, and then music from seven, eight, or nine. Anyway, it's fun. It's cheap, and uh, there'll be fun stuff going on. So, yes, cheap music in Ireland. Fan bloody tastic, eh? Anyway, um. Yes, so uh, we're halfway through volume three of uh, the actual e based Lifestyle Club, so I'm probably making another video when I finish that, so I, I won't cover too much of that. Just know that this last few weeks have been so bloody hard to keep going. But, uh, yeah, that's uh, another story. Okay, right, uh, I had some questions. I had some questions to which, which to answer, and I'm going to find them now, so I'm going to find my likes on Twitter, uh, and I didn't have very many, which is good because uh, I've already got a sore throat. So uh, lots of things which I've favorited. Here we go. What is the latest time I've started a week? Probably last week where I didn't start the track until Thursday, or at least really get going on the track. I've sort of gotten into a mode where I at least make a file on my computer on Monday and then start just putting stuff in it like little noodles and jams. I've picked up a pen to make my point across little noodles and jams at the beginning of the week and then on my lunch times 
and on like in evenings when I've got time free I will add stuff and take away stuff or remix bits and bobs or mix, do like a mix down and then cut things up and then start again do all of that and then sort of Thursday, Friday, Saturday is when I will really put some time in on a track. So uh, last week I was out and about with work and then I was tired and then I had other things to do. So uh, yeah, it was possibly the latest and it also took a while to come together and it was getting me very frustrated. There's been a few which really didn't come together until the last minute and if I just bring up my... I have a work in progress folder on my um, computer and what I do with this is every time I do a mix down I shove it in the folder. Now this is nine hours long now because I'll do lots of different mixes and stuff but it's also easy to tell when I couldn't get something to work because there'll be a lot more mixes. So one of the first ones which really went wrong at first at the very least was uh, one from the first collection which is called oddly enough the retro e-waste lifestyle club that one took a while to come together i think there are about 11 different versions of that one where i was trying to get it to work lots of chops and stuff like that then the track after that was also a pain in the ass and i didn't start that one for a long time either that one ended up at core being called temporary lighting fixtures and uh, that one doesn't bring back good memories. Um, and then in more recent memory, there was version 11 of 12, which was version 8 of 12 actually, but version 11 of 12 is also a thing, and that one took ages to come together, and it came together at like Sunday night. Uh, but it does seem, regardless of when I start them, I am still in a rush every Sunday to get them finished, along with the artwork and stuff. So, yeah, that's that question answered. I'm answering questions. This is fun. What is the best reward I've given myself for finishing a track? I usually have a shower or go to bed. That's the best reward I've given myself. A nice, nice shower when I get stuff from Lush, like this American cream hair conditioner, which I have not yet used, so I don't know why I did that. But have a good old shower, read a book, maybe listen to a podcast, and then have a lie down. That's my ideal thing, really. And sometimes I, by the time I finish a track, I hate everything, so uh, I don't want to listen to it ever again, and I don't want to do any of that. But then, in the weeks after, I do keep a playlist of uh, the tracks and stuff on my uh, little iPod thing, which is not next to me right now. But I keep a playlist of those, and I listen back to them occasionally, and I go, oh, actually, that was not so bad. And then I add it to the list of things which I need to figure out how to play live. So that was exciting, too. So yes, that's the best treat. Um, the biggest treat, which I actually bought myself, uh, was uh, the Pocket Operator Arcade, which I got quite early on. And I haven't used it as much as I thought I would. It's not quite as uh, useful as uh, I thought it would be. It doesn't make sounds as much as uh, I want it to either. Go on. So these things are fucking cool, but in terms of the way I make music and stuff, the synth version, the factory synth, this one is far better because this one does lots of um, beautiful sounding drones. Put that through a delay, layer it up. Ooh, sexy. Although it doesn't understand what the note B is, which will forever be my complaint. So yes. Right, I think I actually only had one other question. Um, do, 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 do. What was the most fun I ever had doing a gig?
I should have prepared answers better. I have lots of fun doing gigs. Um, the last gig I played was quite fun. I can't even remember what that was. I think it was one in shitting hell. Where did I last play a gig? Bloody hell, my brain is just gone. This is another another reason why I shouldn't record these at late at night. Um, I mean, I played Superbike Festival. That was pretty much epic, but I was so nervous when I got on stage because I was opening the festival that I accidentally knocked uh, one of the switches on my guitar, so my guitar didn't make any noise when it was supposed to be making noise. Uh, that was upsetting. And uh, so that sticks in my mind for the wrong reasons, but it was enjoyable and, uh, you know, played Superbike Festival. That was really good. Um, I also played Soon Festival uh, a lot, not a, oh, a few years ago, uh, and I sort of won the opportunity to do it through uh, Dizzy Jam or something like that. And I ended up essentially supporting Hexstatic, and I had no idea how I really got there. And uh, I was just quite nervous, and but it seemed to go well. So I think Soon Festival in 2013, it might have been, or 2012, 2013, um, that was pretty cool. And Superbike was pretty cool. Uh, and then I played lots of little fun gigs all over the place. Uh, so uh, I remember playing Grok Day in London. That was really good fun. I think I opened that as well, but yeah, that was, uh, or maybe I didn't, I was just after like the open stages or something, and that was a great, great day, and I'm just sad that I had to leave early, but I was also quite drunk on a train, which is always fun. Um, yeah, and then I sort of stopped gigging for a little bit after, not after Grok Day, after I played a gig in London uh about a year or so ago maybe a little bit more and uh, everything went wrong and that's when i knew that i needed to redo how i play live and then i've sort of come back lately and got some more dates as i might have talked about and uh yeah that those have been better since i've uh, rejiggled how i play live less reliant on an ipad sadly but also less reliant on an ipad positive so, yeah, yeah, I think uh, that's the vaguest answer to that question. So, I think that about wraps it up. I don't think anyone needs to hear me witter on too much longer. So, thank you again for listening to uh, the last 26 or so tracks, or wherever you jumped on or jumped off and jumped back on or whatever. Uh, that's cool. That's really cool. Um, and I'm really proud of what I've achieved, which is, <laughs> uh, uh, isn't that one of the things which you're not supposed to be according to the Ten Commandments, but yeah, I take pride in what I do, and uh, so far this has been the most creative and uh, positive thing I've done for a long time, and uh, I don't know why that's uh, something. Oh, well, just looked at my phone in case that was the last minute question and it wasn't um, so I bid you farewell this time I will see you probably again very soon with uh, some more babble about tracks and things and when you can get the next volume of badges and trading cards if I have any money after this Irish tour because uh, I don't have very much money right now I need to sort that out but uh, thank you for everyone who bought the CD, by the way. That was really cool. Um, uh, uh, oh, what's the what's the word I was going to say? I uh, can't remember. But uh, yeah, I would li also like you to know that if you did buy my CD, uh, I did choose to then give the money to cancer charities because uh, I felt like doing that on a whim. And then I drained the PayPal account using that. So uh, be happy that all the money went to a good place. Uh, it would have gone to me anyway, and that's a fairly good place, but uh, I thought it would be best spent uh, researching uh, rare ovarian cancers. So top top marks to you all for supporting that, and uh, yeah, that's cool. Cool. Uh, yeah, I'll stop talking now. Uh, 
Uh, have a lovely evening. Have a lovely day. Have a good few weeks. Maybe I'll see you in Ireland. And uh, goodbye.